Okay. Welcome back. Promised you a black canvas. We're going to do winter night scene. That's all we're going to know. Easy palette. We got titanium white, thedo blue, uh, midnight black, Prussian blue, um, just the red, bright red, and then Van Dyke brown. See, I'm getting better. And this is a mixture of um, black and blue, which we put over the liquid clear. And there's a prep video if you like to watch that, you know, and then good advice. All right, now we're going to start two inch brush right into the, right into the white. I'm not going to use a lot of paint. See, we got the OCD paint palette. I'm just going to get an even load. I'm not really focusing on a lot. Ah, oh, see, whatever. All right, now we're going to say a moon and we're going to work out. Little Lexus. Always work out. That way, it will get darker towards the edges. And you won't bring any paint back in. Now, instead of cleaning this brush, which I should, I'm going to use another brush to save time. Right back in the white. This is a clean brush. Right back in the white. Clean brush. I could have washed it, but I'm trying to speed things up. Start right in the same, the bright spot. All right. Same deal. Little X's. Little X's. Real simple. All right, now I got to clean this one. Plus, we all like a little clean in the brush, and I'll splatter paint thinner everywhere, I promise. But you know the rule. If you can, this is an art studio specifically designed for wet on wet oil painting. So I have permission by myself to do this. All right, now I'm just going to blend this one more time. Dry, clean brush. No paint, no white. And you're going to blend it how you like. I'm going to leave some black spots. It's going to save me some time later on the clouds. I'll explain later. All right. Security. All right. I'm going to clean the brush again. Real quick, though, because there wasn't that much paint. I really want this to come out good. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Now, you know the deal. Blend it. Left to right. Two hairs and some air. You're just getting out the brush strokes. At this point, you can go in the white. Don't ask me why. Just do it. I want to get this nice and smooth, like a nighttime winter. Where I am, we just got a huge blizzard. Two feet. I've been shoveling for the last three days. I'll still put some stills up so you know the deal. That's perfect. Now, all right, I'll, I'll explain what's going next. I'm going to wash these brushes just so we're done with it. I know I'm trying to make these videos fast, but I don't want to rush. Don't want to rush. Nothing good happens when you rush. One more. So now after this, I'm going to put a uh, moon in the middle, a little finger painting, and then I'm going to get down with the black and the blue, and I'm going to make some clouds. I'm going to try to look at the camera more. You know what I mean? Like a TV host. Like I know what I'm doing. That is fun to beat those brushes, right? All right. Now, a little white on my thingy. Okay, right in the center. It's fun. See that? I think I'm going to take the blender brush. That's it. Don't want to fuss with that. I screwed it up last painting. Now, fan brush, number six in the black and blue. I'm going to get a little bit more black in the black and blue from earlier. You know. You know what we're doing. All right. Load that bad boy up. Now, some fatties. 
I'm going to do a couple cartoon style clouds. That just means real bubbly. Kind of look like something out of a cartoon. Yeah, I mean, all right, there's one. Get some more paint. I'm going to do a cartoon style over here. I like the cartoon style clouds. They're more literal too. A literal meaning fluffy, like, a, like, you know, like if you were going to draw a cloud. Now, a couple more clouds because this is going well. These ones are going to be whiskeys. I can't even see that because of a glare of my own lighting, but I'm just going left and right. I don't even know what that looks like. We're just going to believe that looks good. You guys probably got a better view than me. And then maybe just tap in. Add some more paint. And nothing major. All right, done. I'm going to clean the fan brush so the fan brush is clean. And then I'm going to add some white. Well, I'm going to, actually, you know what? I got to fluff these bad boys up. I'm going to do that with the two inch. And you know the drill. Barely touch the bottom. If you got it, you know, you get where you got too much paint on your brush, flip it over. You can always beat the devil out of it. Or maybe you'll beat the devil into it. I don't know. These fluffers, we're going to whisk up. Maybe whisk a couple of these up. Kind of like that. Just getting rid of some of the paint. I'm just going to hit the clouds. Real light. Don't go over that moon. You'll get mad at me. These ones I'm going to kind of fade away. All right, now. Now what we're going to do is go into the three. I'm going to go into some white. And some, uh, some Thado blue. Oh, that's too much blue. Jeez, dude. Oh man, see that? Oh man, I screwed that up. But then, you know what? No, right, it's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna do a couple highlights. A little bit more paint. You know what? That's actually what you call a happy accident. Because we're not gonna do too much. I'm gonna use it up. Just loading the three, the number three fan. I'm gonna do it a little brighter, closer to the moon. Even these ones I'm gonna maybe tap in. Not too much. Just zing them up, you know, dazzle them. This one that I can't really see. Okay. All right. I like it. All right. Now I'm going to blend those. Clean this three brush, number three fan brush. Fan brushes are fun to clean. You just don't beat, beat them up too much. But that doesn't mean they're not fun. I'm going to take the same brush from before. Kind of whisk these big ones up and in. And then I'm just going to go real light. About three hairs and some air. Stay away from the moon. There go these little ones. You, you turn. All right. That's it. Now, wash the brush. And try to get a system. Now I'm going to just go do some bushes and trees. I'm going to need to make up some more um, blue and black. So we'll, we'll demonstrate that. All right, this is the blue and black from before. I'm going to take it all in the middle. I'm going to take a little bit of Prussian blue. And this is going to be my fo foliage color. Just a dark color. All right, now, favorite brush, full round. Full round. This brush is the best for bushes and trees. 
first layer of bushes and trees tap the brush into the black and blue now we just have at it we don't even think we just have at it. we know we're going to do a full need more paint we're going to do a full horizon line no breaks because i'm going to i'm going to show you what the deal is we're just going to figure it out as we go this is everyone's favorite part when we just do the tapping and i kind of like how well we'll get into that later but i like how the white shines through kind of spooky that's what the winter is it's spooky this is going really well this is just tapping it really is just tapping making a land mass that just cuts right across this isn't a, a direct copy but this is definitely influenced by bob ross's evening piece maybe i'll put that to a link in the description if i know how to do that now we're going to clean this brush And then we're going to make the highlight color, which is going to be this blue from the clouds, make a new spot, a little bit more white, just white and blue. And remember, when we do these, we don't want to go crazy. We don't want to go crazy. That also solved another problem, that mess I made. All right, a little bit more mixing, and I can mix the rest on the brush. No big deal. Full round, same deal. Same deal. Load it up and just tap. Just tap this big boy. This thing does all the work. I'm going to start in the middle, closest to this, the moon. That looks really good. And then as we go out, Remember, we leave the, leave the black, the dark areas without those, okay? Without the dark areas, this will just look like one big mess. All right, as we go out more, I'm going to hit, I'm going to go in here, see? Just using a darker version. Well, maybe a little bit darker. Maybe a little bit darker. More Prussian blue. I knew I'd use that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lot better. Man, this is exciting. I get excited. All right, that's good. I don't know if you can see that on film, on camera, but it looks pretty good. And we're going to try to just keep this up and go with the flow and done maybe all right now here's the plan a little water i'm going to do a little waterfall a little stream you know and then a couple land masses we're going to be done um okay now let me finish cleaning this just to keep everything legit Things are going smooth. We're painting pretty, pretty neat, which I respect. Now, I'm going to show you a different way to do. I just want to blend this in a little bit. Different way to do water on a black canvas. I'm going to go right into the white. Okay. Normally, you know, we would do it. We would do it horizontally in the beginning. Now we're going to go right in the middle and we're going to go straight down. Oof. straight down straight down I'm gonna add some more paint try not to contaminate the white too much we're gonna need that later make sure I'm good straight down maybe maybe the land mass this is all gonna be water all right look at that all right now I'm gonna clean this just because I'm getting all excited now we're gonna clean the brush just in case you have one brush out there I got two 
pretty much two of every one. But if you have one, then I'll clean with you. Since this is, you know, we're going good or well. All right, now, I might just pull it down again. Yeah, because I had some thick spots. You're just pretty much evening out the paint. If you do a better job than me off the rip, you won't have to do this. Now, straight across. Ooh, look at that. That is fantastic. I don't think you guys realize how good that looks. I hope you do. All right, eventually we're gonna put a water line in here and some ripples, but we're gonna keep, keep moving because this is going too well. The one thing I'm gonna do before we go on to the next layer of goodness, bushes and trees, I'm just gonna throw in some sticks. You'll see those more when it dries. Trust me. Well, you won't. I will. But if you do your own, you'll see it on your own. All right, so look. Just cleaning the other brush from before. My second. Beating the devil out of it. I don't really like saying that. I'm going to have to come up with something better. Now, what should we do? We're going to put maybe... Uh, you know what? I'm going to put some snow. See, I told you I didn't know what I was doing. And neither should you. It's more fun if you make these up as you go. It would definitely be easier. We're going to make some snow. And to do the snow, we're going to kind of make this like a hill. And then maybe. All right. A little bit more. A little bit more snow. A little bit more paint too because we're running towards the end and I got plenty of white left. I'm spraying paint everywhere. There we go. My kids could go sledding down there. Any of, your, any of the kids could. All right. More white. More white and you're picking up the blue and black from before and you're gonna see the madness all right I'm gonna stop there maybe just try to get a little bit more white on this front all right snow's the easiest thing to paint all right now watch I'm gonna leave that Going into the number six fan brush. I'm going to say the water starts coming. Zoop. Do this fast. Zoop. Zoop. Get some more paint. More white too. I want that to be a little bit brighter. Oh yeah. Widen that one up. Try to bend it up, you know? I was just exaggerating, but. Maybe it comes down like that. Ooh. And then it splashes up. And then we don't know where it goes just yet. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna clean this up. Although I did miss. I did miss something. All right, cool. And watch this, since I got the brush out, and I'm not gonna clean this either. either. All right, now. Make that kind of look like All right, all right, now watch. I'm not gonna clean that. I'm going to go back to this and I want to kinda of get a real dark color. Take all my darks, see this is kind of 
what I like to do. I like to use up all my paint. This is, I'm gonna make a couple more layers of bushes and trees, but I'm gonna keep it up over here because I want this to be dark and I want this to be well mixed. All right, now this color is kind of a medium blue. I'm gonna put this right down here just in case. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm explaining everything I do. I'm gonna do a couple bushes right here. bushes right here just tapping blue black and blue okay I'm gonna get a little bit more paint and I'm gonna do some bushes here. I mean, this is some simple stuff and I'm just kind of making this up as I go. I'm trying to do a real simple painting just cause to keep it as quick as possible. But you know, you can get real freaky if you want. Anywhere where I kind of missed. Looks like it's a water line of bushes and shrubs. And then, you know, we're going to just kind of pepper this out real quick because I want to be, like I said, I want to be conscious of time. Okay. And then one more area right here. Kind of make it look like it's just grassy little bushes that kept some stuff. And then this, I don't know what I'm gonna do there yet. Now, well actually I do know what I'm gonna do there. And it's kind of, kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna take the white and the light blue. I'm just gonna do a light blue white mix like I did here, but I'm actually gonna use the half round brush. It's just half, and then anything closer to the middle gets this lighter blue, or I'm sorry, darker blue. So basically, less white. Make sure you tap. This brush is a little lighter, so it takes a little bit getting used to at least for me and just keep adding paint just keep going just keep foraging all right I better slow down a little bit this is okay you know what just one more all right, there we go. Now I'm gonna start going into more white. You could always add paint thinner too, I guess. I'm gonna save some white. that but I don't care when you do this you're gonna find things don't sometimes go according to plan especially if you're trying to do it for YouTube and do it quick but I'll get better what's happening is basically what I was talking about before now we're just gonna go all at it just 
She's going to finish this up. This is a good time for me to tell you about the new dog I'm getting, my family and I. We're getting a seven-week-old Border Collie named Luke. This is the time where I'm going to put some stills in. This dog is so cute. And he's going to be the smartest dog in the world. I'm going to teach him how to paint. So, good. Stay tuned a lot. If you like cute puppies and border collies and families with new dogs, we're your show. Okay. I'm just going to uh, kind of define this. And then, yeah. All right, last step. And then we're done. No, I got to do water lines. All right, I'm going to take the remainder of the dark blues. And try something. I'm going to take these blues and white and light. I'm just not going to hit that Prussian blue. All right. Maybe add some brown. Van Dyke. We never used the Van Dyke. Maybe I'll add more brown. Because we didn't use it. It's the only reason, I'll be honest. This is like more of like a green brown color now. Or gray. Alright. Alright, I hope this isn't a mistake. I'm gonna go back into the full round. I haven't washed it. Right here. All right, now, in the red, like I said, I hope this isn't a mistake. The least bit of paint thinner. I just did the... Oh, oh yeah. It's just a little treat for you guys sticking around as long as you did I'm not quite done yet though little treat little red blaze hey who knows I might like this painting later I might put my fist through it just kidding I won't do that last thing and then I'm gonna clean up this mess I made we're gonna go and water line it and this one we're just kind of taking the blue and black and then coming through like this, making it maybe a little defined edge, maybe my, my famous ripples I love so much, but not too many. And then kind of maybe, I don't know, see what I'm doing? I'm kind of just, you know, Blending it in. Actually, it looks doesn't look that bad. Put some sticks in here. All right. You know what? That's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Remember, please subscribe if you like it. I'm going to keep this up. Um, and that's good advice. Goodbye, everybody.